As autumn 2025 fades, a pressing question echoes from Warsaw to Bucharest. Will this winter be mild or will the infamous beast from the east return? Meteorologists are closely watching a massive frigid air mass over Siberia, the Siberian high that could surge westward threatening Poland, Ukraine and Romania with a deep freeze. This isn't just idle weather talk. A severe winter impacts energy, travel and public health for millions. We'll break down the science behind these Siberian air intrusions, explore what makes this winter different and look at the latest atmospheric signals. By connecting past legendary winters to today's forecasts, we'll see why this season could be one for the history books. Let's dive into whether Eastern Europe is on the brink of a truly unforgettable winter. Eastern European winters are a battleground where Atlantic moisture collides with the relentless cold of Siberia, creating a unique and often unpredictable climate that shapes daily life across the region. These opposing forces result in wild swings in weather. One day might bring a sudden snowstorm, while the next could see a rapid thaw, leaving locals constantly adapting to changing conditions. In Poland, for example, the western regions are often touched by milder Atlantic air, bringing slightly warmer and wetter winters, while the eastern parts are exposed to the full force of Siberian blasts. This stark contrast makes national weather forecasts especially challenging, as conditions can vary dramatically from one side of the country to the other. Heavy snow can transform cities like Warsaw and Krakow into winter wonderlands. But even with robust infrastructure and experienced crews, prolonged cold and repeated storms can strain resources and disrupt daily routines. In Ukraine, the vast open steppes offer no natural barriers to the advancing Arctic air, making winters not only long but also particularly severe. The mighty Dnieper River often freezes solid, a testament to the region's harsh conditions and the endurance required to live here. Romania's Carpathian Mountains add another layer of complexity, creating microclimates throughout the country. Bucharest can be battered by fierce blizzards, while the valleys of Transylvania, though cold, often experience more stable and predictable winter weather. Even the Black Sea coast, usually thought of as milder, isn't immune when Siberian air dominates. Occasionally, the shoreline itself freezes and snow blankets the beaches, a rare but striking sight. Ultimately, the winter in this region is defined by its unpredictability, the resilience of its people and the ever-present threat of extreme cold. Locals have learned to adapt, finding ways to endure and even thrive despite the challenges. Understanding these local differences and the forces at play is key to grasping what's at stake this year as each winter brings new challenges and stories of endurance across Eastern Europe. The Siberian High is a vast, persistent dome of frigid, dry air that forms over snow-covered Siberia each winter. As high pressure builds, it pumps cold air westward, what meteorologists call a Siberian air intrusion, or the beast from the east. The jet stream's position is crucial. If it dips south, it opens the door for this Arctic air to flood into Europe. Low pressure systems over the Mediterranean can pull the cold even further south, intensifying the freeze. Unlike quick cold fronts, these intrusions can lock Eastern Europe in a deep freeze for weeks. Snowfall isn't always guaranteed, but when Siberian air meets Atlantic moisture, crippling blizzards can result. The scale and persistence of the Siberian high make it a formidable force every winter. High above the Arctic, the polar vortex acts as a cold air lockbox, spinning relentlessly around the North Pole. This vast swirling mass of frigid air is trapped by powerful winds in the stratosphere, forming a kind of invisible barrier that separates the icy Arctic from the milder regions to the south. When the vortex is stable and strong, it keeps the worst cold bottled up, maintaining a steady boundary that protects much of Europe, Asia and North America from the harshest Arctic blasts. But sometimes, powerful planetary waves ripple up from below disrupting the vortex. This can cause it to weaken, stretch, or even split apart, a dramatic process known as sudden stratospheric warming. Temperatures in the stratosphere can rise by dozens of degrees in just a few days, throwing the polar vortex into chaos. 
This disruption allows lobes of Arctic air to break free, plunging southward into Europe, Asia or North America. Suddenly, regions that were enjoying mild winter weather can be gripped by intense bone-chilling cold. A weakened vortex often leads to the formation of stubborn high-pressure blocks over Greenland or Scandinavia. These blocks act like atmospheric roadblocks, halting the usual flow of mild Atlantic air and forcing cold air to linger. When this happens, powerful easterly winds take over and the Siberian high's icy surges sweep westward unchecked, bringing relentless cold and snow to vast areas. These sudden changes are major red flags for meteorologists. They signal a heightened risk of severe cold outbreaks, prompting urgent warnings and preparations for extreme winter weather. The complex interplay between the polar vortex and surface weather patterns sets the stage for dramatic events like the infamous beast from the east, which can paralyze cities and disrupt daily life. Just a single atmospheric wobble can unleash weeks of extreme cold, with blizzards, icy roads, and record-breaking low temperatures. That's why scientists and meteorologists watch the stratosphere so closely each winter, using satellites, weather balloons, and computer models to track every twist and turn of the polar vortex. The polar vortex's dance is unpredictable, sometimes calm, sometimes wild, but its consequences can be dramatic, shaping the winter weather for millions across the northern hemisphere. Early signs point to a colder than average winter for Eastern Europe in 2025. Extensive Siberian snow cover this autumn is building a stronger, colder Siberian high, fuel for potential cold outbreaks. Climate models are hinting at more frequent atmospheric blocking over the North Atlantic and Scandinavia, favoring cold easterly flows. The polar vortex looks vulnerable to disruption, raising the odds of a sudden stratospheric warming event. If that happens, a major cold spell could hit Europe within weeks. Broader climate cycles like ENSO may also be nudging the pattern toward cold. With multiple signals aligning, forecasters are on high alert for a harsh winter ahead. History shows how powerful Siberian air intrusions can be. In 2018, a sudden stratospheric warming split the polar vortex, unleashing brutal cold and blizzards across Poland Ukraine and Romania. Temperatures plunged below minus 20, travel ground to a halt and schools closed. The 2012 cold wave lasted nearly two weeks, with Ukraine seeing minus 30 and hundreds of deaths across Europe. Rivers froze, energy demand soared and daily life stopped. The legendary winter of 1987 and the big freeze of 1962-63 are further reminders of what's possible. Each event followed a familiar pattern, upper atmosphere disruption, blocking highs, and a westward surge of Siberian air. Studying these blueprints helps us prepare for what may come in 2025. The past is a warning and a guide. For Poland, a severe Siberian winter means surging energy demand and pressure on the power grid. Cities are ready with snow plows and gritters but extreme cold and heavy snow can overwhelm even the best preparations. Disrupted transport and supply chains can hit the economy hard. Public health becomes a priority, protecting the elderly, children and homeless from hypothermia and frostbite. Community vigilance and emergency plans shaped by past cold waves are crucial. The outlook? A higher chance of a colder, snowier winter than recent years. Residents should prepare homes check heating and stock up on warm clothing. Treat the forecast as a serious heads up. Vigilance now can prevent hardship later. Ukraine's flat landscape offers no shield from Siberian air, making it one of the first to feel the deep freeze. Prolonged cold strains energy supplies and threatens winter crops, especially if snow cover is thin. Heavy snow and ice can paralyze transport isolating rural communities and disrupting food supplies. Romania faces similar risks. Bucharest is battered by the Krivets wind, and even the Black Sea can freeze. The Carpathians protect some regions, but can also trap cold air, creating dangerous inversions. The lesson from history, don't wait to prepare. Ensure homes are ready, 
have backup plans for outages and check on vulnerable neighbors. Early, sensible preparation is the best defense against the Siberian winter. Preparation is the key to staying safe during a severe winter. Taking the time to get ready before the coldest days arrive can make all the difference for you and your loved ones. Start by sealing up any drafts and insulating your home thoroughly. This helps keep the cold air out, the warmth in and your heating bills much lower. Even small gaps around windows and doors can let in a surprising amount of cold air. So pay attention to those details. Make sure your heating system is serviced and working efficiently before winter hits. It's also smart to have a backup plan. Keep extra thick blankets, sleeping bags, or a safe alternative heat source, like a portable heater on hand, in case your main heat source fails. When you need to go outside, dress in layers, start with a moisture wicking base, add an insulating middle layer, and finish with a windproof outer layer. Don't forget a warm hat, insulated gloves, and waterproof boots to protect your extremities from the cold. Always watch for signs of frostbite and hypothermia. Numbness, pale skin, or shivering are warning signs. Limit your time outdoors, especially during storms or extreme cold, and head inside if you start to feel too cold. Stock up on non-perishable food, bottled water, batteries, flashlights, and any necessary medications. Power outages can happen unexpectedly, so having enough supplies for several days is essential. Keep your cell phones fully charged and have a battery-powered radio ready to receive weather updates and emergency information if the power goes out. Remember to check on elderly or vulnerable neighbors and family members. A simple phone call or visit can make a huge difference. Community support truly saves lives during harsh winter weather. Whether or not records are broken this winter, being prepared for You'll feel more secure knowing you can protect yourself and your family. With these steps, you and your family can face whatever way you can.